never know You never know This is uh, You Never Know, and I'm David Olney. I wanted to do this song for no particular reason. Here we go. Let me get it. Okay, here we go. This is live TV. And you don't get this everywhere. Oh. My Canadian running nose. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Driving across the Illinois plain, hard times in 33. John's got a bottle and he's feeling no pain, just the usual low down misery. Hey, John, don't you think it's a crying shame? A man lose a farm and he ain't to blame. There, sucker, says John Dillon. It's another bleak November day Can't decide to rain or snow But the money's in the bags and the getting away Heading north for Chicago Big gray buildings, little gray men Have a little fun, then we'll do it again All right, says John Diddy Luther's bleeding from a hole in his side. I don't believe he'll make it through. Ruby cradles his head and she starts to cry. Oh God, what can I do? I've always been a gangster's girl. Don't die and leave me alone in the world. Shut up, says John Dillon. Well, across his lap, a submachine, under his arm, a 38. Well, he's feeling alive and he's feeling mean. His yellow eyes are filled with hate. The papers say he's a Robin Hood, mistreated and misunderstood. Fuck him, says John Dillon. All right, that's called Dillinger, and a uh, friend of mine, Will Owen, that I write songs with sometimes, uh, gave me a book, sort of cheap paperback biography of John Dillinger, 
and uh, somehow or other, it's little details kind of struck me. And uh, also, you know, uh, when you learn how to play, at the time I was learning how to play, people were singing songs about uh, gangsters and outlaws and Bonnie and Clyde and uh, John Dillinger and Pretty Boy Floyd the Outlaw and things like that. And they were always depicted as sort of fun-loving, happy-go-lucky people. And then uh, I got mugged in New York at gunpoint. This is a long time ago. And uh, it just kind of changed my mind about how I thought about people who rob you at gunpoint. I just didn't really see uh, anything likable about it. So, uh, you know, John, this my song about John Dillinger, I guess, is about someone who's like a, just basically a bully. And uh, let me see, anything else I wanted to say about it? No, I'm glad I wrote it and I thought about, you know, Luther and uh, Ruby, you know, to me, they're the interesting people in the song, you know, I want to know more about them. And I ended up writing more songs about them, actually. So anyway, uh, it's Canada and it's a, you know, right now, they write, there's a song, old song, Canadian Sunset. And it's going on right now. And it's beautiful up here. And I'm having a great time. And uh, uh, anyway, I'll see you next week. So long. All right. Uh, hey, folks. It's uh, You Never Know. And I'm David Olney. And uh got back last night from uh, Canada. And uh, what well, yesterday was like it would break a lesser man. Uh, I'll tell you about it in a minute, but we finished up the tour in Canada, uh, and the last gigs we played were the Country Gourmet Cafe in Perry Sound. Uh, I'm, okay, I say these names and then I see the place. Hughes Room, live in Toronto, The Legion in Delaware, Ontario, Gilmore Street Music Hall in Peterborough, and Steve Tennant's series in Perth at the Perth Tea Room. And uh, th those were with, uh, those were with Brock Zeman, of course, and uh, Blair Hogan. And we, we tore it up. I mean, that was a great tour. It's, you know, it's work and everything, a lot of driving and stuff, but uh, it was really, really nice. Really nice people. And, of course, uh, Lucien Reed was there, you know, selling the merch and everything. Yeah, it was, it was uh, legendary. So what's coming up? Palm Sunday, Good Friday, and Easter uh, just announced May 8th through the 12th on tour in the Northeast U.S. with Rhode Islander and award-winning songwriter Mark Douglas Berardo. And you can get all the stuff on davidonly.com. Okay, so yesterday was just a meet, uh, uh, Brock dropped me off in, at the airport in Ottawa and right away the planes are starting to be late because of some computer glitch and blah, 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 all the stuff. So there's a lot of standing in line and I'm, you know, an hour standing in line in Ottawa and there's a woman behind me and she just starts giving hell to everybody and looking, she was looking for like support, like, why can't they, blah, 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 why are they, at least they could do this or that. I'm just going, oh, God. And, I'm, and she's going, am I the only one who's frustrated? And no, she wasn't the only one who was frustrated. She was the only one who was frustrated and making a lot of noise. And I thought, you know, is there any possibility that she's right, that maybe we should all start screaming? And no, because uh, the, it's not going to make anybody work harder. And the person behind you know, the, the desk or whatever they call those things, the counter, is not, it's just going to feel more pressure. They're, I don't know, it just, uh, it just is, it doesn't do any good to raise that kind of stink. And she, boy, every aspect of it, she was getting on the plane and she wanted to take her suitcase in and it was too big to fit in the thing. No, no, I can, I can do it. No, you can't take that in. Well, yes, I can. No, I'm not going to, you know, finally she has to give in, and so what? It just made a difficult situation more difficult, and I don't want to think about that stuff. You know, I want to think about 
how beautiful Canada is on, on that tour. And I don't, I'm, I don't know that she was Canadian or American, I don't know. Anyway, why is that sticking in my head? Think a beautiful thought. Go to that quiet place. Ah, a placid lake. Oh, yes. Okay, so let's play something. Here's a song about the Titanic. <laughs>
All right, Titanic. Uh, you know, it's like the iceberg singing. It's a love story. It's a, yes. Uh, anyway, so I'm going to go uh, uh, get some rest. Uh, oh, Canada. I mean, I'm still, you know, vibrating from the good vibe up there. Uh, let me see. Okay, I'll see you next week. You never know. You never know.